Tonight we're learning more details about the 16 year old Clarksburg student arrested for bringing a gun to school in just the last hour and a half. Santer Ba was arraigned in Montgomery County District Court where a judge ruled he's going to be held without bond. Now the arrest comes just days after a Wooten High School student, Alex Yee, was also arrested for threatening to commit a school shooting. WSA 9's Rafael Sanchez Cruz, the only reporter in the courtroom during Ba's arraignment today, and he joins us live now. So, Rafa, we understand that you spoke to this young man's mother. What did she have to say? Yeah, that's right, Adam. Santer, Ba's mother, told me in the last hour and a half that her son is a good kid that made a mistake. That was her response after Judge Holly Reed III here at Montgomery County District Court said the 16-year-old is, quote, a severe danger to the community and threat to all students and staff at Clarksburg High School. Now, prosecutors say that yesterday Ba threatened another student and told him, quote, don't let me catch you outside, and that the 16-year-old proceeded to show a gun he was carrying. A witness who saw the weapon reported the incident to the school security, who then called Montgomery County Police. Now, investigators say Ba was fully cooperative and allowed police to search him. They found an unloaded handgun in his possession, but no ammunition. Ba's mother tells me that she also allowed police to search her home, and she says investigators were also unable to find ammunition. The fact that the gun was not loaded was brought up today in court to argue that Ba had no intention to hurt anybody. However, the other side, prosecutors argued that if Ba did not intend to hurt anybody, he did, however, make other people feel unsafe and that uh, he had added to the feel unsafe among parents and students. Now, the teenage boy has been charged as an adult and is facing three gun related charges, including underage possession of a firearm and possession of a dangerous weapon on school property. However, he's being charged as an adult, but they decided today he will be held in a juvenile detention center and not an adult jail. He's due back here in court on June 10th. I'm live in Rockville, Rafael Sanchez Cruz, WUSA 9. Hopefully we can also find out, Rafa, how he ended up getting this gun in the first place. I know you'll be following this for us. Thanks.